Okay, we are here with Howard Leder. Howard, you've been playing the um, 1K Hold'em today. How's that been going? Uh, well, I'm wandering around now giving an interview, so I, I just got knocked out. Um, and what was the final hand? What was it all about? Um, well, it was uh, actually a bad beat, um, but it happens. Guy moved in with King Queen, I had Queens. And uh, with one to come, there were three hearts out there. I had the Queen of Hearts, so he needed one of two offsuit kings. It was King on the River. Are we hoping for a bit, of a bit of a better performance, or is that how it goes sometimes? Well, yeah, it's poker. Uh, you know, you do the best you can, but uh, luck plays into it, and you know, you have to embrace it. That's what makes the game great and interesting and frustrating and difficult to learn, and you know, so uh, I mean, I'm not upset about it or anything. Well, I believe you played the opening hold'em event here as well. Um, how did that go for you? The Omaha? Um, well, again, um, I played this event today, so that didn't go so well. So I'm 0 for 3 so far. Okay. And the uh, first um, um, Hold'em event, how was that one? Yeah, well, I mean, actually, this is my quickest exit. I mean, I've put in a good, you know, six, seven levels in the other two. I think I'm playing okay, um, but uh, just haven't had anything really good happen. And, you know, that's how tournaments go. You can have a lot of events where you just sort of never get out of the gate. Something good is going to have to happen to you along the way to go deep in a tournament. You know, I think what tournaments are all about is just totally zoning in, taking advantage of your opportunities when you get deep. Um, but I think you have to be very circumspect, very relaxed, very kind of like let the tournament come to you kind of approach early. Uh, because first of all, everyone's playing well, and it's it's early. No one's feeling any pressure, um, and you know you just need to wait for a few good things to happen. Wait till you get deep. Wait till the pressure starts building on your opponents, and then and then seize the opportunity. I mean, are you the kind of player that sets yourself targets for like I want to go so deep or take it as it comes? No, no, no. I don't set myself any targets. What all I really want to do is when I get deep in a tournament, I want to feel like I played my A-plus game. I want to feel like I took advantage of every possible situation. Um, but I'm very non-goal oriented. I, th I think if you're thinking, wow, I just want to survive the next level, or I want to double my chips in the next two hours, or those kinds of goals are going to get in the way of sound decision making. Now, where do you stand on the argument that perhaps a World Series Europe bracelet doesn't quite mean as much to a player as a normal World Series bracelet? What's your view? Um, it means as much to me, you know. I, I would count it as my third bracelet. Um, the World Series of Poker has declared that these are bracelets. Uh, most of the best players in the world are here. Uh, it's tough competition. These are bracelets. And what do you make of the fields? Because they're often smaller fields than in the U.S., but perhaps more pro-heavy. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a throwback to like 10 years ago. You know, I mean, the fields aren't tiny. Um, I guess the heads up may be a pretty small field on Tuesday. Um, but uh, yeah, it's shorter but tougher, um, but certainly much more winnable. Uh, I'd rather wade through a field of... Uh, 120, you know, on average tougher players than try and beat a thousand uh, players. Where those good 120 players are probably in that field too, and then you still have, you know, eight or nine hundred other players to wade through. And uh, finally, how are you enjoying the whole London experience generally? Oh, look, I mean, this is my home away from home. I, I probably spend a month a year in London now. Um, it's my favorite European city. I mean, the language is my language, um, but I mean, you know, the restaurants here are, are amazing. The shows, the movie scene, um, it's a it's a very vibrant city. I actually spent 13 years living in New York. You know, it's very much like that. It's that same kind of energy. So I, I just love coming here to play. Okay, thanks for talking. Good luck for the, the tournament. Thank you. Thanks for having me.